Hello, today I'm going to do a video of my hubcap collection, wheel covers. So, the this stack is plastic wheel covers. This stack is metal wheel covers. This stack is center caps, plastic and metal. So let's get started. We have a Toyota. I'm not sure what kind of Toyota. It says 9S, I think. So that's a Toyota. This next one is a Subaru. It says Breakneck Road Hill 2013. I believe it's an Impreza, but I am not sure. This next one is a broken Toyota. It's all dirty. I picked it up because I thought it was cool. This is a 2013 Ford Fusion hubcap. This is another 2013 Ford Fusion hubcap, probably off of the same car. I found them about 200 feet apart from each other on the same road. Here's an aftermarket. It says S plus D. It's a pretty nice aftermarket. Got a couple broken clips. Here's another aftermarket. I found this the other day. Uh, it's very shiny. Don't know the brand of it. Here's a very scratched Ford hubcap. I'm not sure what kind again. It says Ford. Here's a massive, probably 17, yes, 17 inch aftermarket. It is huge. Here is a Chrysler Voyager one, Plymouth Voyager one, that uh, I took off our minivan. Well, I didn't take it off the minivan. I grabbed it when he changed, when the wheel covers were changed from these to metal ones. This one I found a couple hours ago. This is actually, I've been looking for one for a while. This is a Ford Transit Connect. Let me get that to focus in. There we go. It's very shiny. It's a Ford Transit Connect 2010 to 2013. Ford Transit Connect. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's got a little bit of broken there, but I have been looking for one of these for so long that I just decided to pick it up. This is the earliest one I can remember finding. Um, I found this in a crossing booth, a crosswalk booth under leaves, and I picked it up because it's a, it's a Chevy Cavalier hubcap, mid-90s, and I like the spoke design of that. This next one is a Suzuki hubcap. Uh, this thing is really cool. It's one of my favorites. I found this, and you never find Suzuki hubcaps. It's missing most of the paint. It's got some paint still in here, but it's pretty neat. 2000 Hyundai Elantra. That Elantra badge right there, and that Hyundai badge is from it. They're from the same car. Here's what I believe to be, oh, 1998 Toyota Corolla. It's really nice. Here's a 2004 Toyota Corolla. It's got bad paint on it. And I guess we'll do center caps. Here's a semi-truck hub cap. Here's another semi-truck hub cap. Here's a Hummer hub cap. This thing's really cool. All Almost all the clips are broken, though. But that's a good wall hanger. A uh, Chevy metal hubcap. Another Chevy metal hubcap. This one way, way older. Austin. Chevy. Chevy. Ford V8. Nash. Chevy. Chevy. Lincoln. Chevy. Chevy Corvair. Saab. And another Chevy. And now we're finally going to go with the metal hubcaps. Here's one I found in a river. It's very dented, but it's cool, so I took it. Here's one from a Dodge Aspen Plymouth Velare style car, one of those 70s. Uh, I found this in the woods. 
Mercedes, I believe, to be one, two, three, or earlier. Um, I got that from my neighbor for five dollars. Okay, now this one has some controversy around it. So, that, I would say, is Peugeot. As you can see, if I can get my camera to focus in, that has the Peugeot Lion, right? This looks very Peugeot-esque with the knight and everything. This looks very French, even the hubcap. It's design. But I've seen hubcaps, they call these Lion, L-Y-O-N, aftermarket hubcaps. I'm not so sure. I found this in the woods, too. But I, I'm not sure if this is a Peugeot or an aftermarket hubcap. Found this in the woods. It doesn't have a center cap. Found that in the woods. 49 to 50, 51 maybe, Oldsmobile. 40s DeSoto. Early fifth, early to mid 50s Chevy. And Ford Mustang. This is a cool one. I bought this for my neighbor for $7. So that's the hubcap collection, and I'm finding more each day as I go actually looking for these now.